Is the Microsoft Business Analyst Professional Certificate offered hmm. by Coursera actually worth it? That's what we're going to be talking about today. We are going to get into every aspect of this certificate, all the way from an overview of it and a course breakdown to going over the time to completion, the cost, the demand, the salary, how engaging the course is, its chances of landing you a job, the overall hmm. value that it offers, and an overall score, as well as my thoughts on whether or not it's worth it. This is offered by Microsoft, of course, which is one of the biggest and most powerful and most well-respected companies in the world. And they say that this professional certificate is for you if you want to start or switch to a career in the field of business analysis. Or if you're interested in the field of business analysis, just beginning to work with business analysis solutions and services, earning the certificate would be worth it for you as well. And when it comes to the background knowledge, they say that you don't need any background knowledge to take this professional certificate. Whether you're just starting out or a professional in a relevant field, this program can be right for you. And for the certificate statement overall, they say you can launch your career as a business analyst, build job-ready skills for an in-demand career, in business analysis in as little as three months. No prior experience required to get started. And by the way, if you want to check the certificate out, I will put a link for it down in the description and the pinned comment below. Keep in mind, I am an affiliate of Coursera. So if you click that link, I will get a small percentage of the income. But with that being said, I was promoting Coursera long before I ever became a partner and an affiliate with them. So if you want to, you could just search Google and find it that way. Now, when it comes to what you'll learn, I'll have that pop up on the screen. You can check it out. When it comes to the skills that you'll gain, I'll have those pop up on the screen. You can check those out as well. But you can see it is a good amount of skills, right? They are teaching you a very comprehensive course load here. And when it comes to the courses that you will take, there's basically a six course series. That's business analysis fundamentals. That's course one. Course two is data for business analysts using Microsoft Excel. Course three is data and business process modeling with Microsoft Visio. Course four is requirements gathering in business analysis. Course five is power platform in business analysis. And course six is project delivery in business analysis and capstone project. And and of course, all of this is designed to get you a job as a business analyst. And this is a dynamic and rewarding career, which focuses on improving business processes and helping them with decision making using data. And you can expect to work closely with stakeholders, analyze data, and provide accurate insights to drive business growth. Quick pause to share a really good deal with you thanks to our sponsor, Coursera. There's a deal for the Coursera Plus monthly subscription until August 9th. You get 50% off the first month of Coursera Plus you have unlimited access to over 7,000 courses. And these are from top universities and companies such as Google, IBM, and Meta. You can explore careers in cybersecurity, data analytics, business analytics, user experience, and more. And you will earn unlimited certificates at no extra cost. So join the rest of the learners who report personal benefits like boosted confidence and a sense of accomplishment. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Sign up with Coursera Plus Monthly today. Links in the description and the pinned comment below. Now let's talk about the time to completion. They say that this is a beginner level certificate, so you can take it even if you're a beginner. And they say it's going to take you about three months at 10 hours per week. And it's a flexible schedule, so you can do it anytime you want, whether it's three o'clock on a Tuesday or 2 a.m. <laughs> on a Saturday. It's completely flexible. Now, they estimate three months to complete the course, but almost every single other Coursera certificate that I've seen, when you actually look online, let's say Coursera says it's going to take six months. Usually everyone online is saying that they're able to get it done between like one to two months, maybe three months max. So you can typically get these done significantly faster mm. than what Coursera mm -hmm. sets. And so with this one, I would assume that you could probably get it done within a few weeks maybe up to a month and a half to two months max. And if you compare this to the closest competitor when it comes to education, that would probably be boot camps. Boot camps typically last anywhere between three months and 12 months. So this is much, much faster than a boot camp. And if you can compare it to a college degree, associate degrees take 3.3 years on average and bachelor degrees take 5.1 years. So when you compare this to the other types of education, it becomes incredibly obvious that this is very, very fast compared to its competitors. So the time to completion here is going to be an easy 9.5 out of 10. Now let's talk about the cost. Coursera costs about $49 a month and they have a seven day free trial. This means you can try it for seven days without having to pay. Now the cost sometimes varies depending on your location and the time of year. So definitely click the link down in the description in the pinned comment below to see how much it costs. They also do offer scholarships for people from certain situations and backgrounds as well. So you can check that out too. Now, realistically, if you use the seven day free trial and you take your first month, that would be a month and seven days, you're probably gonna be able to finish this certificate in that time period. And that would be $49 of total cost. But let's say that it does take the 
full three months, that would be $147 to be exact. When you compare that to competitors such as a boot camp, those typically cost anywhere from $3,000 to $30,000. And the average cost of a boot camp is about $13,500. Or if you can compare it to a college degree, say getting a bachelor's, that costs about $146,000 over a four year period when it comes to the tuition and expenses. And usually actually takes five years, so it's even more than that. And if you go to an elite school, it's gonna be much more than that, over $250,000 a year. And that doesn't even count the interest <laughs> from your compounding debt or the opportunity of what you lost when you didn't go straight into the workforce during those five <laughs> years. You count all of that, it's well over $500,000. So yeah, when it comes to the cost, this one is an absolute no brainer. It's gonna get a 10 out of 10. There is no other solutions that are as affordable as this one. And the funny thing is these certificates are designed by the companies, the people that actually hire you. And the reason that they started doing these certificates is because of the fact that colleges were not properly educating people and getting them job ready. They were teaching people hypothetical and theoretical things that you never actually run into on the job, or they were teaching people practical stuff that worked 20 years ago, but doesn't work today. Whereas these certificates teach people the exact skills that companies are hiring for right now. So yeah, it's really a no brainer, cost is 10 out of 10. By the way, comment below your thoughts on the cost of these certificates versus the cost of a college degree or boot camps. Next, let's talk about the demand. So when you look up business analyst on BLS, it doesn't actually pop up because BLS categorizes jobs in a super weird way. And BLS, for those that aren't aware, is the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is a government organization in the United States. So when you look up business analysts, it actually falls under the category of market research analysts. And there are several other positions that fall under this category as well, but they are growing as an aggregate at 13% over the next 10 years, which is much faster than average. To put that in perspective, average is somewhere between two to 4%. So business analyst roles and business analyst related roles are in high demand. And with the skills you learn with this certification, you could qualify for jobs such as business analyst, of course, but also data analyst, financial analyst, market research analyst, and process improvement specialist. And if you look up data analyst on LinkedIn, you'll see that there are 48,000 jobs posted at the entry level. If you look up financial analyst, there's 32,000 jobs posted at the entry level. If you look up market research analyst, there is 4,900 at the entry level and process improvement specialist. And there's a lot of other careers that are very similar to that, similar in name. There's about 968 jobs with that exact title at the entry level. So yeah, lots and lots of opportunity here. Now, on top of this, I've actually gotten comment after comment about people who have either finished their certificate or they are in the process of taking these Coursera certificates and they've actually been found through through LinkedIn by recruiters and hiring managers, et cetera, because of the fact that they posted it on their LinkedIn. And so these certificates are actually respected and it makes sense because like I said before, these are companies telling the market what skill sets they want. Whereas college degrees in many cases are teaching you stuff that worked 10 or 20 years ago or isn't really practical. So it makes sense that recruiters and hiring managers would be looking people up through these certificates. So pro tip is to absolutely put this on your LinkedIn, make a post about it, put it in your education section, etc. And so overall, the demand here is pretty good. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. Next, let's talk about the engagement and the course itself, right? Is it entertaining? Is it engaging? Is it super boring? Well, it's kind of hard to tell because of the fact that it just came out. There hasn't been a lot of self reports on that and there aren't that many reviews available. But with that being said, Microsoft has put out a bunch of different certificates and certifications before. And generally speaking, they've had really positive reviews. There's lots of different certificates and certifications in the Microsoft slash Azure ecosystem. So I'm going to assume the engagement here is probably going to be somewhere around eight out of 10 at least. But with that being said, I'll leave it as a question mark for now. Now, by the way, if you have taken the course by the time you see this video, definitely comment below. If you know a friend that's taken the course, share this video with them. Or if you know someone who's thinking about taking it, share the video with them as well. Next, let's talk about its chances of landing you a job. So let's look at what they say about what jobs you can get with business analysis skills. They say that you can prepare for a career in a high demand field of business analysis. The business analysis skills you learn in this program prepare you for an entry level role as a business analyst. This program also prepares you for a variety of entry level roles that require data driven problem solving and strategic planning. Okay, so that's a lot of words, but basically business analyst and business analyst type positions. Now is this certificate 
on its own going to get you a job? That's the big question. And the answer to that is probably not. You're probably also going to have to have a portfolio and supplemental skills that you learn either from YouTube, experience, or other certificates. But with that being said, this certificate is almost certainly going to help you land a job. Being able to put this on your resume shows that you are someone who's proactively trying to learn and gain these new types of skills, and you're learning from a really good source, which is the companies themselves. Also, there are many companies that are sort of allied to Microsoft, and they use the Microsoft suite, so they're using different Microsoft products, as well as Azure, which is owned by Microsoft, and those companies especially are going to want you to have these skill sets. So if you can somehow look up which companies used Microsoft or Azure, this is going to look especially good for them. And the network effects of these certificates are starting to kick in. Lots of recruiters and hiring managers are actually using these certificates as a tool to find the right people. And it's starting to snowball and it's starting to get more and more popular. In fact, it's much better now than when I first started reviewing these certificates. So when it comes to the chances of landing you a job, I don't think it's going to do it on its own, but with a nice portfolio and some supplemental education, I am going to give this one an eight out of 10. Now let's talk about the overall value that it offers. So this costs you anywhere from $49 to $147. And you actually have a puncher's chance of landing a job. Plus it's definitely going to help you to land a job and teach you these in-demand skills. And it's going to be teaching you the skills that businesses are actually looking for. Real practical skills. And it's going to help you be found by different companies. And on top of that, they offer a resume review, interview prep, and career support. So when it comes to the overall value of this, costing anywhere between $49 and $147, compared to a college degree, which is probably $500,000 in total opportunity cost, or boot camp, which costs on average about $13,000. This one is an absolute no-brainer. The value is incredible. Easiest one on the entire list. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 for the value. Now, as a bonus when it comes to the value, they also offer you a 50% discount on the PL900 certification exam. And this is an exam that some positions will actually require for for you to be able to land the job. So this exam is basically even a higher level that's gonna help you out even more. And you get a 50% discount just for taking this certification. So yeah, that's a nice little bonus as well. And overall, I'm gonna give this one a 9.25 out of 10. Unlike other education methods, this provides practical real world skills that are actually in demand by businesses right now. You can do it relatively quickly. Another piece of value that I think this offers is the ability to kind of just like dip your toe into different skill sets. So maybe you take this and you kind of don't like it. You know, you take it for a few weeks, you're like, no, I kind of don't like business analysis or data analysis. Well, that's great. You can take a different certification and see if you like it as well, because those are the actual skills you're gonna need to know. So this isn't some hypothetical stuff where you go through a bunch of, you know, hypothetical stuff in college, and then the work that you actually do is completely different than what you learned in college. This is exactly the skills and the tools and the processes that you are gonna be using in your job. So if you don't like it, chances are you probably shouldn't pursue that certification and you probably shouldn't pursue that career. And I think there's a lot of value in that, the ability to just dip your toe in different types of careers and different types of skill sets without having to fully commit. So yeah, overall score 9.25, absolutely love this. Also, you can check out this video of some of the best Coursera certifications, which I've ranked by clicking right here.